afternoon. My name is Michael Kutchis, and I am the president of the Queen Anne's County Bar Association. Uh, it's so nice to see so many members of the Bar Association, uh, judges, commissioners, uh, elected officials, uh, and distinguished guests. Thank you so much for being here. And although I cannot see your smiling faces under your masks, I am sure that each and every one of you is smiling as widely as I am so that we may honor uh, the illustrious career of this distinguished jurist. <laughs> We have the pleasure of doing this first through the dedication of a portrait that the Queen Anne's County Bar Association commissioned uh, by artist uh, Annie Howell, Bonnie Howell, excuse me, of the Artists Gallery in Chestertown. The Queen Anne's County Bar Association is proud to present this beautiful painting to the Circuit Court for Queen Anne's County uh, in honor of Judge Ross. And it is my understanding that it will be displayed prominently in this new law library. So without further ado, if I may ask Ms. Lee Dillon. <laughs> yeah. Looks just like him, I think. <laughs> now, in addition to the portrait, the Bar Association and the Queen Anne's County Commissioners felt an additional recognition was befitting of Judge Ross and his many contributions to our community. As many know, he was a catalyst in bringing this courthouse project to fruition. Indeed, recognizing the importance of legal research and its access to all, he ensured a worthy law library was a significant part of the courthouse. And as many of you know, he is also an avid sports fan. No. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of a signature on a basketball court, as many famous coaches have, we are proud that Judge Ross's signature will forever be commemorated on the glass of the law library, oh which shall now be known as the Honorable Thomas G. Ross Law Library. You research that to make sure that's legal, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to personally thank the county commissioners as well as Todd Moan, Judge Knight, Sandra Smith, and Miss Lee Dillon for their time, effort, and assistance in making this well-deserved honor a reality. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time today to recognize Judge Ross, who will now always be remembered in this courthouse through his portrait and his signature, even when he is not sitting on the bench. Now, I understand that Commissioner Moran would like an opportunity to speak. I don't know about the speaking part, but uh, <laughs> you know, Judge Ross, it's, just, it, it's been an honor to work with you. It's been an honor, especially constructing this brand new building and, and he's 100% correct, it wouldn't be here without you. So you know, the Queen Anne's County Commissioners would like to give you something. They're gonna put your picture here and give you something to take up with you. So. It's a signed, whoops, excuse me. It is a signed invitation by everybody who attended and everybody who's involved with the project with the picture of the oh new courthouse for, for your home. Well, thank so, you, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much for your service. Great, I appreciate mm -hmm. that very, very much. Very short and sweet. Now, Judge Knight uh, would like me to pass along the invitation to everyone. As you all may recall from the historic courthouse, we have the portraits of all the judges. Judge Knight has had uh, those photographs remastered, and they are prominently displayed in the jury uh, room. She invites everyone to uh, pass through them, socially distanced, of course, uh, to uh, take a look at them. Thank you all very much for coming. Hold on. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, just give me just a few minutes because I know we're in this COVID situation and everything else and we're masked up. 
In fact, my grandson says, is that going to have a mask on it? <laughs> Frankly, I didn't know until we got here just now. But I am so pleased and proud of this courthouse. But it took a lot of people, many people who are right here, right today, Scott McLashton, all the commissioners, Todd Bond, and many others to get this courthouse built. Uh, Sandra Smith, um, our present clerk, Catherine Hager. It took a lot of effort, but it's so incredibly beautiful, and I'm very, very proud of that. As I am of, I, I had no idea about this as a complete surprise, and I'm very, very proud of that as well. Um, it's hard to believe that I retired a year ago yesterday. I mean, the time has flown by. It's just unbelievable how that happens. But I got contacted about this portrait in September of last year, before I retired, by Pat Palmer, and he asked whether I'd be, the Bar Association wanted to do something, and he asked me whether I'd be willing to take on this adventure, that's what he called it. <laughs> and I agreed, and I'm happy with the uh, product that uh, has come about, and I, I will tell Mick Cutches, since he's had this portrait with him for a long time. You have been in uh, proximity for the longest time uh, of this portrait that anyone will ever have. You are historic <laughs> for that reason. So I appreciate the fact that each and every one of you is here today. Uh, thank you very much. I won't hold you up anymore, but I, I'm very honored. Thank you.